Hey, what's up, good people of the world wide web? Juicy here. Coming to y'all with a little, um, how it's been going so far in Dallas, I guess um, I can say, say it like that. Um, I just wanted to talk about the three little incidents that happened to me while um, I've been here in Dallas and what prompted me into getting this um, ring people doorbell cam from um, Target. Um, this is not a sponsored video, which I wish it was, but. Um, so just a little backstory. I've been here in Dallas since April the 4th. Um, I started out, you know, in hotels looking for an apartment, um, and I found one maybe like April the 20th ish, um, and then I moved in April the 24th. So from April the 24th to now, um, three incidents happened and um, kind of prompted me into getting this. Um, I was already thinking about getting a security camera because, you know, I'm a shopper. Um, I stay in some apartments and, you know, people like to steal people packages. So, um, I was already thinking about getting um, some type of security camera or something like that. Um, but I wasn't thinking getting it as soon as, um, as I got it now. Um, I've been having it for a month now, uh, so. And I love it. I love the, everything about it. And you know, I can look at it on my phone and all that good stuff like that. But I'm really not coming here to talk about the ring people camera, but just the why um, I got it. So, anyways, um, you know, I don't want anybody stealing my packages or you know, just random things like these three incidents that happened. And it was like, I'm glad I got it. So, the first incident that happened. Um, again, I moved in March the 24th. Um, I'll say that following Sunday, March the 24th was, not March the 24th, April 24th was on a Friday, um, Sunday. Um, I was almost on my way out going to Walmart to pick up some extra, you know, household things, some food and stuff like that. When somebody was at my door, they didn't knock on my door, they were just trying to enter my door, like just trying to open the door. And I was thinking, I don't know anybody here. <laughs> like, I don't know anybody. I haven't told anybody my address, the apartment, where, you know, where it's located or anything like that. So I'm like, um, hello? Hello, who's at my door? And then I'm, I'm guessing, you know, they figured that um, the people that I guess they thought were here didn't live here. So um, as they were leaving, I looked out my peephole. It was a, um, I won't say an elderly couple, but it was, you know, um, an older couple, an older Hispanic couple. I'm guessing they had the wrong apartment or they thought somebody they knew stayed here, but they don't stay here anymore, you know. So that happened that Sunday. Um, then the week I went to Houston to go pick up my, it was the following week, I went to go pick up my stuff from Houston, it was like May the 2nd, 3rd, it was like a Tuesday, I went to go pick up my stuff and I came back that same day, um, Wednesday I think it was, um, Cinco de Mayo day, the next day, Thursday I'm thinking it was, early, early Thursday morning. It's like 4 a.m. There's a knock at my door. Mm. Four o'clock in the morning, I don't know anybody here. There's a knock at my door, I'm thinking, oh, okay, this is my dreams, you know, I, I, no, I don't hear what I'm hearing. It's, I'm still in my dreams, you know. Another knock. 
I wake up, I'm looking around, I'm like, okay, it's not in my dreams. I say hello. They say, Dallas police. Dallas police, what is Dallas police doing at my door? Dallas police, hmm. No, no, no. Uh, I didn't call y'all. No, no, I, I just say no. They knock one more time. I didn't answer the door. So don't don't even worry, y'all. I didn't answer the door. Didn't know when nobody just gonna come and bum rush me and you know, I'm not even sure if it was actually Dallas police or not. So I'm shook. I'm like I'm up texting uh the person that I do kind of know here in Dallas and I'm like, hey, the you know, Dallas police just came knocking at my door like, you know, whatever. I I don't I'm just nerves I'm, I'm i'm nerved up like good grief i don't want what happened to you know the young lady who was playing her video game in her own house and somebody shot her in her own house i, I don't want that happening to me i don't want any probable cause i smell this and you look suspicious no none, none of that so again i didn't answer the door um, I, it was maybe around 4.20 or so, 4.20, 4.30. I decided to call the non-emergency uh, police hotline in, here in Dallas. And I just told them, hey, you know, supposedly Dallas police was knocking at my door. I don't know anything. I don't know anybody here. I don't, you know, is that true? Was Dallas police around here or anything like that? And um, he said, yeah, it was Dallas police, but they were looking for the other apartment, another apartment. Um, on my side, it's like odd numbers. So they were looking for the other odd number, which was on the other side. And I was thinking, who? Okay, well, you know, I don't know how you get uh, a, a one and a three mixed up. That's not my apartment number, but you know, how you get those two type of numbers mixed up because or you know a three and a five how do you get those numbers mixed up i'm guessing i'm not sure i don't know but i didn't open the door so the next day i went to my local target and i bought this thing i did my research first while i was still up around four five six in the morning i didn't go to sleep till seven that morning just trying to figure out what type of camera to buy um, I was just thinking about the ring doorbell, but I'm thinking I don't really need a doorbell. You know, I Googled what would be good for an apartment, and this is what they say would be good for an apartment. This type of style, the people uh, camera. I know there's a couple of other brands that have the same type of um, style of camera, the people one, but. Um, I know about the ring because my mom has it in her household. So I bought, I got, I bought this. It was like $129. I also bought the plan that comes with it. Um, you get a free trial for like um, 30 days. Yeah, a 30 day trial. And then you can either do the basic plan, which is $3 a month for $30, $30 a year, or you can do um the i guess the premier the premier premier plan for ten dollars or a hundred dollars um a year so ten dollars a month a hundred dollars a year but yeah it's a good thing you look at it you you know you got um you know you can look at it on your phone and things like that okay so that prompted me to get this ring thing when the Dallas police came knocking at my door. So the next day, I hooked my baby up and it works like a charm. So <laughs> how good does it work? Let me tell y'all. So I haven't even had it up a full day, I'm guessing. Yeah, it hadn't even been up a full day, maybe a day and a half. My next door neighbor <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning decides that she wants to ring my doorbell. 
Now, I don't know these people. I haven't met them. I haven't been formally introduced to anybody across the way from me. And she's across the way from me. Like, I opened up my door, I see their door. You know, um, no, I kind of met one person that stays there. There's four people that stay next door to me. We stay in a one bedroom apartment. There's four people that stay next door to me. The first person I met was when I was getting my package from Spectrum. They didn't even knock on my door and tell me that my package was, was there. So that's another reason why I got this because my package could have been sitting there all day. Didn't nobody tell me, didn't nobody ring a uh, knock on the door or anything. They told me after they dropped off the package and probably, probably left and did everything that my package was at the door and I just actually so happened to open up my door because I was thinking about it and I was like they were telling me that my package was going to be here soon and all of this so something just said open your door there my package was okay so when I opened the door and I seen my package there one of my neighbors she was sitting on the stairs smoking a cigarette um introduced myself hey how you doing hey how you doing and that was it Okay, so fast forward to, um, I think it was Saturday. Yeah. Who is backing up? <laughs> Anyways. So she says she decides this time um, at one o'clock in the morning that she wants to ring my doorbell. So my doorbell, being a great doorbell that it is, it once she put her finger up to ring it, it snapped her picture. And after that, it recorded her from when she walked up, walked up to the doorbell, rung it, and sat back down. See, and I, I can also answer my doorbell from my phone. So, um, I pick up my phone. What's going on here? You know, again, I don't know anybody here. Hello. She looked. She put her, picked her phone up and turned her head facing the wall. Like I'm thinking, I can see you, and I said it. You know, I can see you. I seen you come up and push my doorbell. You're that curious. I, I, I had no. I don't even understand. Like, and it wasn't the the person I met. It was another one. Another person. It's. Three ladies and a man that stays next door to me. I'm thinking it's a family of four. The younger daughters may be in their 20s or teens, like 19, 20, 21. Um, I'm not thinking no older than 25. I don't even think they're 25. They're in their younger 20s. So now I'm like, okay. <sighs> mm. Come on now. Like, why would you do that? That made no sense. Um, I see them pretty much every uh, day. They kind of just sit out on the front steps, smoking cigarettes, drinking, listening to their music. And I'm thinking we have a balcony that you can do all of that on, that you don't have to bother your neighbors that's across the way from you. You can sit on your balcony and do this, all the same things that you're doing right there. But they want to sit right in front of, on the steps. And I'm like, okay, this is, it is what it is, I'm guessing, I don't know. But how we're facing, we're facing other balconies. So I'm guessing they want to be seen by whoever's in those other balconies. I don't know why it's not that important. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. They're young, so I just, I'm guessing they just want to be seen. But yeah, so um, when I had it up, no, I still have it up. Um, one of my, um, the maintenance man came by to fix something for me. He asked me, um, how does how does the camera work? And I'm like, it works fine. And he's like, I need to get one of those because you know, there's just people come knocking at my door. And I'm like, why? Why do people just randomly do just the weirdest things? Like, knocking at people's door in the middle of the night, stealing people packages, and it's like, it makes no sense. But hey, if you got time on your hands to do nothing since it's, you know, we're in a pandemic. Pandemic? 
Why did I say it like that? A pandemic? Pandemic. <laughs> Whatever. You know, a lot of people are at home. They don't have much to do, um, but just sit at home, walk the neighborhood, and harass people. I have no idea. So, uh, I'm glad I got this ring. It snaps pictures. Um, I still had a recording on my phone because you can save it um, to your phone. Um, I'll show y'all a little bit of it. I'm not going to show the person. Um, but I'll show y'all a little bit of it. So, you know, you get the app. The ring app is right there. And then it kind of just, you know, yeah, I can show y'all. Y'all can't really see, but that's my front door right now. There's nothing really going on. I can open it up and you know, and it beeps when things go on. It tells you, um, you know, what's going on. You can move this little thing and it'll say if something went on by then or whatever. You know, it catches squirrels and all sorts of stuff like that. And you can also go live. I'll tap to go live. And that's what, make sure y'all don't see too much, but you can't really tell. But that's what's out in front of my door right now. Um, my front door. Um, and it also tells you about uh, nearby ac accidents, incidents and stuff like that. What's going on around you and people who also have the same type of ring. Um, doorbell or peephole or whatever, you know, just keeps you informed, lets you know that um, if there's a robbery, um, you know, if there was a robbery or any type of emergency, I don't know if y'all can see, yeah, any type of emergency, you know, that's going on crimes and smoke stuff and it tells you, uh, you know, if people lose a little cat or a dog or you know people just you know post stuff on there so um, I'm glad I got this um, can't really you know nobody sneak up on me um, and let me see yeah but here is The incident, I just, I, um, no, that's not the one. But you can hear, this is just what they do on a daily basis. You know, they just kind of sit there and they're on their porch chilling. Um, Let me see what I'm trying to show you, her face. Just kind of came and rung my doorbell, took a picture real quick like, she walks away. You know, so I answer and she turns her head like. <laughs> no, they didn't outside. Yeah, they sitting out. They were sitting outside as if I couldn't see them. So, um, yeah. And then after the fact, after they did that, they were going. I guess they were going back in their house or whatever. One of the one of the girls said, "My bad." Oh no, no, they didn't say my bad. She said, uh, I'm sorry. And I was thinking, okay, all right.
but yeah so if y'all want to invest in getting yourself some type of security camera or some type of excuse me peephole camera or the ring camera or anything like that i suggest um the ring peephole camera um it's easy to set up um all you do is just take your peephole unscrew your peephole from there put it aside for when you leave because i'm sure you're going to take your camera with you and just replace it with the peephole i mean you know it's not hard to charge up or anything but yeah i suggest anybody that stays in an apartment who plan on getting packages or you know just to have a peace of mind to know that you know when you're not there when you're going to the store anything like that you can monitor your house you can see who's coming up and you can see everything you can see pretty you know that type of thing you can i can see people walking you know as far as i need to see them you know so um yeah i would suggest it but that's all i want to say i don't want to make this video too long it's probably already like 30 minutes long just um, you know, talking about the incident that has happened to me since I've been in Dallas and, you know, just, you know, what's been going on these last couple of weeks, months, and years. This is not the first um, time something like this has happened to us in our community. Um, so, you know, yeah. We just need to stay positive. We need to mobilize, you know, we need to come together in a more positive way. Um, yeah, we need to do some things. We need to make some changes. You need to make some changes. So, um, let me go, cause I can ramble on. <laughs> Thank you good people for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed and um, talk to you good people later.